Good day everybody, my name is Milan and today I'm going to show you what the best antivirus program is. Today we're going to try three different programs and the last one at the end of the video is going to be the best one. So let's get started and I'm going to show you Bitdefender as the first one. So I'm back at this screen. If you don't know what the screen is, I've installed RevOS and the best performance optimization tool in a other video. I explained you how to increase the performance on Windows and if you're interested, check that video out. I've also installed Windows 11 and you can check that out also. For the rest, let's open Brave and let's install Bitdefender as first. So let's go and type google.com here. It is pretty much the best search engine. So now I'm here, I want to change the language because it is in Dutch, we don't want that. And now I'm going to search Bitdefender free download. There you go. And now we're going to click on this one and it is for Windows. Now we're going to click on free download for Windows. Let's scroll down with the free version, unless it's already installing. And then I can save the file right here. If the file is downloaded, you can find it right above in your screen. And then you can click on it here by opening the folder and then you can double click it here to open the Bitdefender installer. So now it's, it's going to download on your system and automatically install. So just let it run for a while. Preparing Bitdefender security. So now it's going to probably launch or install at the same time. Now we're going to click on I read accepted the subscription agreement. You can click here and see it in the browser. I think you can product report if you want so they know what to do if your program is not functioning well but let's click on install it's going to install the program right now this program is a very useful if you want to let it run in the background it doesn't cost much it doesn't cost much performance and it works fine this antivirus is fine and it's also free which is awesome just a reminder the last one at the end of the video is going to be the best one it does have some things that are not that great but the free plan is fine for one time use only. But for the rest, it is the best one. You will not find anything dangerous about it. And it can find all the dangerous items on your computer. So now it's installed. I'm just going to click on start device assessment. This means it's already going to start and scan your own system. Analyzing device, scanning for threats and attack traces. It's going to scan the items, resolve threats, and find unresolved threats and attack traces, that you can call it. It's all displayed right here, but for the rest, this is a clean Windows. I doubtly think that it is not secure. I think this is one of the most secure systems there is because I haven't installed anything from the internet. So just let this run in the background and I will be right back with you. Let's click on run scan and background. I'm going to show you the next program. So let's go to Brave and then search on Google.com again. So let's type here Google.com and after this, let's search for Total AV free download. Make sure you type free download. Sometimes you will not find the free version of this program, which is not that great. Oh, we already have some results at Bitdefender. So before I continue, we're just going to test out how good Bitdefender is. Because it hasn't found any threats and attack traces, which is great. Yeah, it has scanned 3200 items and it only took about two minutes. So I'm just going to create a Bitdefender account because this is permitted to let it run in the background and scan often. So let's create a Bitdefender account. I'm just going to click on here and you can't skip it. Sadly, that's not possible. But for us, if you type your name here and enter your email address here, for example, like this and then put down your password you agree with the you agree with the terms of use and then you can click on create account i think that i already had an account and if you have facebook gmail microsoft or apple you can easily click here and skip creating an account so i'm just going to click on gmail because this is the easiest option for me i'm going to see the google login screen i'm just going to need to enter my details i will be right back with you so it has logged in, so let's click on continue. Then I'm going to agree with the terms of use, and then I can click on next, which is very easy. This is way easier to make an account on Bitdefender itself by just logging in, in accounts I already own. So now we have the free version, which is real-time data protection, which runs in the background. 
I'm just going to click on continue. It's going to load the necessary data. This is a free version for three devices. So if you have a phone, you probably want to install it on there too. So I'm just going to click on finish to make sure that the Bitdefender is configured for my machine. It's going to disable Windows security, but that's because Windows security is very bad. Don't trust anything they're saying because it's not the best at the fire program there is. Therefore, I'm making this video so you can find a better enterprise program. For example, Bitdefender, the first one we're starting with. So it has started. Autopilot recommendations, I'm just going to skip the tour. I don't really care for those. For the rest, we have protection right here, and we can find the antivirus, advanced threat defense, firewall, everything like that. But this is a paid setting. So make sure that you click on dashboard and click on quick scan when you want to scan your system pretty fast. If you want to scan your full system, just click on system scan. If you click on here, it will ask you if you want to start it. Okay, got it. And now it's going to scan the system. This is scanning and choosing when to scan, but it can also be done automatic. So I'm just going to stop it here. Yes, I want to make sure that I want to stop the scan and I'm going to close the lock. And now I'm going to settings and we can find many settings here. For example, pass protection. Sometimes the antivirus will find things and you want to protect your own antivirus program by not letting other people access it. For example, if a hacker gets in your system, you don't want them to access your antivirus, disable it will be very annoying. I'm just not going to touch the settings right here because I want to look for auto scan, but I think it's with utilities, probably is. Protection, let me have a look. It's probably here in the antivirus with protection. And after clicking on this one, we have the option. Okay, to go back, you have to go to advanced threat defense. Then you have to click on settings. And now you can see that advanced threat defense is enabled. Continuously monitors device activity to protect you from the most advanced threats. This is what I wanted to say. And if you enable this, you're going to be way more secure. Exploit detection. This is going to run in the background. So if you leave Bitdefender on, it's going to scan your system and make you safe. So you can actually type Control Shift and Escape. Make sure you press these in the order and hold them down. And when you press Escape, you're going to see this window. I'm just going to click on Startup Apps right here. And you can see bdagent.exe. And this is Bitdefender starting up in the background and automatically doing its things. For example, protecting you. So this is Bitdefender. I hope you like it. It's a free to use program. You can log in with your own Gmail, Apple, Microsoft account, and you can scan your system here. It's going to be secure. It's going to run in the background right below to uh, at the point right here. And if you click here, it's going to open the window. And now I can click here or double click on it and it's going to open the program just like this. So it should be starting right now. Yeah, it is. So that icon right there, it's going to um, it's going to show you if the program is running or not. You don't want to make sure it's running, otherwise I can't protect you. Make sure when you install a new antivirus program, you're going to remove the old one because it can create a lot of conflicts. For example, scanning each other, which is very bad. It's going to remove a lot of files, not make that working, or it's going to do many different things. It can overload your system, many things why you don't want to have multiple. So I'm just going to click on uninstall right here. You can also find this in add or remove by typing add or remove programs in your own start menu, which is at the window logo. And you can find Bitdefender here if I write, there you go. If you click on the three dots right here, you can find uninstall. I'm just going to click on uninstall because this is the easiest way to uninstall it for beginner users. If you're already enjoying this video, make sure you like down below, subscribe to the channel because I will be making more videos like this. For example, a better browser. What is the best browser? Well, it depends on what you want to use. But for the rest, I'm going to be talking about all those topics, how to improve your own Windows experience for now, maybe later Mac OS, I don't know. Linux, there are not many Linux users like there are only 5 or 10% of Linux users. I have the knowledge, but sadly, it doesn't really contain a lot of content that's entertaining. Well, it could be, but only for server-based operating systems, you could call it a bit complicated. Let me just uninstall Bitdefender, and I'll be right back with you.
So let's remove and not click on the feed the hex jersey. Way easier. So now we're going to type total AV free download in the Google browser. But for the rest, I know I already continued that one, but this is just because the timestamps are down below. If you haven't noticed it yet, you can already see the first one, which is the last one. Don't skip there yet. Just watch this part because I'm going to show you the second best free Antivirus program. So let's click on download free Antivirus program and let's click on free download, which is going to pop up this window. I'm just going to click on save and it's going to the downloads folder. Right above, you can find Todo AV setup.exe. You can either click on the file explorer or this is an alternative way just to click on the file right here. Now I'm going to click on in stop. It's going to download the files and now it's going to export it all to the computer and you can call it so installing. There you go. I'm just going to close the Brave browser. It's going to start up Total AV. Now it's going to create an account, which we're just going to let it load for a while. It's going to be downloading the antivirus program and all that. Just let it run for a while. Should be fine. It's going to turn off Windows protection, just like with Bitdefender. And this is taking a lot more time because it can protect you in many more ways. Like I said, the last one is actually the best antivirus program. So. For the rest, we can click here on start scan and we maybe don't have to log in. We will see what the process will offer. It's going to scan the system, which is going to take a while. And sometimes it can make your system a little bit slower, which you can see right here. So just let it run in the background. Don't do anything intensive. Just grab something to drink, eat or anything else. And just leave your computer running for a while. It's not going to take too much time. It's already almost at 15%, which is pretty fast. It's also going to clean up your system, so it's going to remove junk files, which is already a great feature. But we were talking about the best antivirus program, but for the rest, it cleans your system also, which is amazing. I'm just going to resolve the issues and it's probably going to ask for a subscription or something, but not with everything. It wants to open a link. I'm just going to click on Brave and always because it's easy, it's going to start the system and it wants us to get a subscription, which is pretty annoying. This is with free programs, sadly, like I said, they're going to ask for money, but not with every single problem. So if we click on review issues right now, it's going to open the website. If we deselect some things, um, for the rest, this is junk files. I'm just going to clean select it. And now it wants to continue. It's of course going to continuously ask for subscription things. I'm so sorry about that, but it's about that good enterprise program. Just going to click on next total ad block which blocks ads you can install this on your own browsers if you want just click on finish and now it's going to give me the option to enable total protection which i want but it's going to give you a subscription so bitdefender is great to have in the background this is more focused on if you want the system to be scanned once in a while so i'm going to click on enter fire scan right here and run an enter fire scan so you want to click on wait Hold up. I'm just going to click on quick file and folder scan, or I can choose to scan the whole disk. I'm just going to click on quick scan, just like I did before. And now it's going to scan the system like it did before. This is how we force it if we want to, and it's not going to run in the background. So do remember that Bitdefender and beginning of the video, the timestamp is going to run in the background without asking for a stupid subscription. The next one is the best one. Let me install Toto AV and I'll be right back with you. And if it asks to research further, you have to do this, but I'm just going to click no. So I don't have to do that for now. I'm just going to type for google.com again, and this is the best enterprise program. So let's type malwarebytes free downloads. There you go. And now let's click a free enterprise program. There you go. And free enterprise downloads. Now it's going to open right above, but first we have to save it. I'm gonna save it in the downloads folder. There you go. I'm going to open it right here. Just click on it. And now it's going to open. Now I'm going to close Brave. And I'm going to click on install. I'm going to click on personal and then on next. Even you are business, make sure you click on personal. It's way easier. Otherwise they're going to ask for a subscription, which is not the reason why I'm making this video. It's all free. But I'm rating this video on what the best antivirus scanner is in total. The best antivirus program for free 
is actually in the beginning of the video. So check that one out. It's Bitdefender. I already spoiled it. But you can watch it there. How to install it and how to use it. Very simple steps. So check that out. Melbytes is installed, which is the best antivirus scanning program. So it's going to scan my system and it's going to gather a lot of viruses if on the system. So I'm just going to click on get started right here and then click on maybe later for the subscription or give you a 14 days premium trial, which is activated every single time you click on Melbytes and then remove it again. <laughs> so it's fine. Just click on start trial. Don't add your own email address here. A linked email address is only going to activate it 14 days. After that, nothing is possible more. Let's click on start trial. It's going to be activated for 14 days. Let's click on get started and let's scan the system by clicking on scanner. It's going to be a little bit more heavy than Bitdefender, Total AV, but that's because it's the best antivirus scanning program. I have used this program so many times when I had some kind of detection. There you go. It's already scanning things that Bitdefender didn't scan, Total AV didn't scan, and Malwarebytes is scanning this. I've used it many times and I've scanned so many files on my systems and it has removed so many dangerous things. It could slow down your system, it could tamper with your own files, we don't want that. Malwarebytes is the best option and if you want to get a subscription, I do recommend it, but this is all about free programs. But to activate your subscription right here, you can easily do that by buying it and activating it with your account. Please do that because if you activate it on your own account, it's going to be linked every single time you log in. If it's going to be activated only by the license key, it's only going to be activated on that system. Do remember that when you activate a subscription, link it with the email, please. I have seen that many times with the IT support I've given. So let it run and it's going to take a while. It's already scanning a lot more items than the other programs. Enjoy and I will be back. Make sure because I have all this knowledge, I'm sharing it here on the internet that you subscribe to this channel so many more people can see it. So you're helping everyone getting rid of these stupid viruses, right? So that's great. Like I'm saying every single video, I'm trying to optimize the videos every single time. And I still hope you're enjoying it way more than I used to make videos. I know my English is not that great, but it will get better over time, I hope. Otherwise, I guess the knowledge is still proficient. There you go. It is, the scan is complete and now we can quarantine some files. You can actually see that here what the location is as HKLLM and it's about policies and you can see that with hovering your mouse over the location and you can see what kind of file it is. If it's not a file you know, you can probably click on quarantine right here. Now it has been done. I'm just going to click on done and my system is now saved. It also has real-time protection, but this only lasts for the 14 days trials left the, um, displayed left above. It's going to check automatically. If you click on settings, you can see this. It's going to thread automatically for the threads, and it's going to remove that in the background. So this is the best antivirus program there probably is of my knowledge. I dearly hope that you enjoyed this video. I've shown you three antivirus programs which are going to secure your system fully. Of course, the best one for you is maybe Bitdefender. If you're scared and you don't know what to do, make sure you use Malwarebytes. It's going to scan your system one time and it's going to remove everything. Bitdefender is great to have in the background, which I highly recommend. Windows, security, the virus protection of Windows itself is trash. It doesn't work well. And it's not going to scan the viruses you want to remove. Make sure you like this video and comment down below if I've missed something. These are the three best and I hope you learned something. This is going to secure your system very well and if you want one of the best browsers or how to optimize your own windows, the performance windows video is out. That's the previous video I've made and the next video I'm going to make is probably about the best browsers. So I'm going to have a lot of controversy on that video, but I'm just going to explain why they're the best. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to be posted about that and turn on the bell if you want to get the notifications from that on your phone. I will see you in the next one and I hope you learned something.